Oh, it's a peninsula. And you look down on the pit, on a map of it, and it sticks out right into the center of the Inner Harbor. The fort is the entrance to the Inner Harbor. It's the gateway. I'm homesick for this place. This tiny dot of a neighborhood nestled on the northern coastline of Massachusetts. I left here physically long ago. But the place has refused to leave me. It has somehow gotten into me, stayed in me, mixed with me so thoroughly that I now find it essential to who I am. I'm not alone in this. Almost everyone I know who has lived here feels the same way. The spirit of this place has somehow come to inhabit them, just as it has come to inhabit me. I've seen it grow into lumps in the throats of old timers as they choke back tears reminiscing about the olden days. I see it take form in the frustrations of current residents who sense that something is wrong about the way the place has changed over the years. I felt it animate the body language and facial expressions of my family members when we've shared together a longing and deep love for this place. I'm homesick for this place, this place called the Fort. I'm not alone in this. I think it starts as a story of um, going back to just the beginning of the 20th century of immigrants coming here and just trying to, to make a living. Gloucester at one time was surprisingly diverse. Um, there were small populations of, of Jews, Greeks, uh, then of course you had the Irish, you had the Portuguese, later on the Sicilians. Sicilians seemed to have stayed, everyone else came and left. And before the Italians moved in, there was Irish in there, in, down the fort. You know, one population replaces another, you know? And that's pretty much what happened. It's not Ellis Island, but it would almost be like a, a starting point in the city of Gloucester for people who came over from, from Italy. The thing about the fort was, at, the, at that time, everybody was a fisherman. And then when my father went fishing and, and saw this port here in Gloucester, he loved it to a point he said, we're going to live in Gloucester. Uh, my father came to Gloucester in 1907, and he fished for a couple of years, you know, until 1927. And sure enough, my mom agreed. They came to Gloucester. She liked it too because it reminded them of their hometown in Terracini. In the community down the fort, there was all his paisanis, all his friends from the same town that he come from. Why am I going to work in a factory in Detroit? Right? Which a lot of these guys did originally before they realized there's a place in Massachusetts where I can fish, you know, literally across the street. That's not too bad. That's, that's kind of like home. Because, you know, all of us, our parents made a living on fish. Yep. You know, even my father, uh, the Irishman, it's he was a fisherman. fisherman. That's what it's supposed it is. To look it's like. a fishing yeah. village. On one side, if you've gone down the pool, there'd be the docks where the boats would uh, tie up after you came in from fishing, and you go right from there. And on the other side of that of that whole place would be the beach. My family, they bought the they bought the house at the end of the beach, like in the late twenties. So one side you'd be working. The wharf was right there. It was convenient for my grandfather to get to, you know, the boat. And on the other side you'd be recreation. If I it had been a while since, you know, dad was out fishing for a week and we had no food in the house, we used to just walk down on the wharf. They'd give us two haddocks. I remember carrying haddocks. 
I had to lift them up over my head to get them home because they were so big. And they, they thought nothing of it. Oh, Dad's not in yet. Here, have a cup of fish, have a box of shrimp. 